Merrimack head coach Scott Bork after a 3-2 setback to Northeastern Sunday at Lawler. Coach, can we start just a statement on the game? Yeah, it was a, it was a tough weekend. You know, um, we got one point out of six, and I thought we um, we played hard. You know, we got really loose uh, in the first period and, um, you know, let them get out ahead of us by three and tough team to come back on. And, you um, you know, I was I was pleased with our effort in the second and third, and I thought we stayed in the game and did a good job of putting ourselves in a position to come back in that game. Um, but you know what? Uh, a loss is a loss. I was just disappointed with the result. If we had a better first period, it might have been a different outcome. But um, you know, that's something we have to do better. You know, there's no such thing as a moral victory, and um, this one isn't one either. Open up to questions, starting off with one from uh, Mike McMahon, if you're ready. Uh, you guys had that opportunity there with the six on four late. Uh, what was it that you were obviously trying to get through there? I mean, L Logan had a chance, I think, on a bouncing puck. But, I mean, were you, were you happy with the chances you were able to get there at the end of the game? Not really. You know, I thought that um, we did a good job of getting ourselves in spots, but we didn't get a really good shot through. And the one thing that uh, – there was some – we played some good hockey this weekend, but the one area of the game I did not think we did well uh, was that net front. You know, I think we were there – but we were next to the goalie a lot, you know, and, and uh, we allowed him to see a lot of pucks, including in that six on, on six on four. So um, that was disappointing uh, that we weren't net front because we could have made it harder for him to track pucks and make plays. But, um, you know, it's the first time we've had it all year, but uh, we, we need to improve in that, be more threatening. You know, they did a nice job on it, but we need to uh, get a good spread and get pucks moving and get them moving out of shot lanes. And that would have given us better opportunities. But I don't think we moved it fast enough. Question from Ian Boshane. Coach, you had a shorthanded opportunity, a four-on-four, four, kind of get you guys going later on in that game. How can you kind of take some of that momentum that was built on some of the shorthanded opportunities and turn that over onto a power play that right now you guys are kind of still trying to find the motions in that one? Well, it's interesting, you know. Um, I think the, the PK, you know, was obviously struggled mightily the last time we played them. Um, and I give Coach Jewell a lot of credit. He's in charge of that. He did a really good job of uh, getting our guys refocused and getting them playing the way we needed to play and, and not to play as loose as we were playing. And, um, you know, I thought we did a very good job. And we built momentum on it. You know, it's funny, in penalty kill especially, but also in power play, you can feel the momentum uh, when guys – the confidence, excuse me, when uh, guys go over the wall. And for whatever reason tonight on the PK – you could feel when we got that late one in the third period, guys weren't worried about it. They felt very confident going out there. Let's kill it. Let's get some momentum. Uh, and our power plays the exact opposite, you know, kind of hoping we score instead of making plays. Uh, we're going to get to work on it this week. That's what we have to do, you know. The thing that's happened to our uh, PK, which is really good, is we're playing players who are not on the power plays uh, a lot, and they're, uh, and they're playing well, and they're fresh, and they're doing good things. So um, I think that we just got to continue to develop the power play. Uh, interestingly enough, I think we have a lot of pieces. We just haven't put the right ones together yet. We got to keep working on that. It's been um, it's been difficult because guys in and out. It's been very disjointed, as everybody knows. Everybody's dealing with it, um, but we have to spend a lot more time on it. And that's that's the plan this week. We need to get back to basics on it and keep it simple. What happens when you are struggling on the power play? It's guys complicate it, and that leads to frustration, and that leads to a lack of success. Question from Mike McMahon. Uh, when you say you kind of get back to basics on the power play, what, what are some of those things you're looking for? Like if you had to boil it down, what, what are some of the, the things that you think just basically you need to get done on the power play? Uh, we got to shoot more pucks. We need better net front coverage. We need two pucks in every loose puck. I mean, all the things that, you know, every high school and even you know, junior high school coach talks to his team about, you know, we're complicating the power play. We have a lot of skill in those two power play units that we have right now. Um, and we're just we're just playing too uh, complicated, too many passes, too many one on one plays. Uh, you know, Northeastern, I, you know, we were fortunate. We killed all, all of them this weekend, but they have a great power play. But it's very simple. Like, it's very simple. And they just run plays off of a simple two, three set. And, um, you know, they're, they're just good at it because they keep it simple. And all five of them are on the same page. We got to do the same thing. I, I think our team is, you know, it's a little different. You know, our confidence level isn't. Uh, you know, it wasn't great. We still are trying to find our, our winning habits. And I think that that takes a little time. It, you know, it takes years. And um, hopefully the power play doesn't take years. That wouldn't be very positive. But um, it does take a long time to get into that groove and to feel that. And I think that this team is still finding it. And hopefully we'll build off of, um, you know, this experience. 
uh, this weekend because you know the, the last two nights of our power was better. We, we, results would have been a lot different. But I think we're growing as a group, and I'm I'm confident we're going to do well going forward. Question for me and Boshane. Coach, I was just wondering your thoughts on your play out of both goaltenders this weekend. Both of them seem to really battle in net at times and faced a lot of shots. How can the play in between the pipes for you guys kind of transition and, and allow you guys to play better from the net out moving forward? Well, as you know, uh, that was not a strength last year for us um, because we put three freshman goalies in the position with five freshman defensemen. I did, as I said many times, goaltending is a six-man job. And last year, I think we just, we weren't, we were, you know, too young to probably support three freshman goalies. But uh, this year, I think we're better in that regard. Uh, I think you see it in our goaltending that we're getting, but, you know, not a lot of second shots. The one second shot they got tonight when it was a goal, I think it was the winning goal. Um, so I think we're doing a better job in front of them. Um, and with that, with, with strong play between the pipes, uh, your team's confidence grows and then you play a lot more uh, aggressive offensively. When you don't believe in, in that, then you play on your heels a lot. We just can't, you know, you're not successful that way. And that's the difference between last week, last time we played Northeastern, and this time is I believe that we were really on our heels last time. Uh, we played in our toes. and we play on our toes, we can be a heck of a hockey team. I really believe that. Another question from Mike McMahon. Uh, I know he missed all of last year, so you kind of expected to take some time, but it really looked like Forsmark kind of emerged this weekend, uh, last night and, and tonight as well. Uh, what, what did you see from him this weekend? Did you kind of feel like he took a step from, from those first couple of games where he was first trying, kind of just getting his feet wet? I totally agree. Yeah, he was, and I think he would agree too if he was here. He, he, the first four games he played, I, I didn't really notice him. He was just trying to get back into the pace of a game play. And, and these two games, uh, he was a threat the whole time. He was a threat the whole time. And I, I um, you know, the one thing that's funny about Phil is like he's an offensive player, but he's hard. Like he's hard to play against. He gets over pucks like he, he has a lot of really good habits for a skilled player. Um, and I think he's just going to get better and better. I think that, uh, you know, he is going to become a really, really big time player in this league. He just he plays the game the right way. He, he relies on his, his effort and then he, you know, he falls back on his skill. And that's the kind of players we need to have. Question for me and Boshane. We talked about a little bit last night, Coach, just your thoughts on Declan and Zach and their first action so far here this season on the weekend. Uh, I thought tonight they were a little tired, especially in the first period. It took them a while to get their legs. Uh, but once they got their legs, they were good. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to go from um, not playing as much as they haven't played and then all of a sudden to play you know, 20 minutes in a pretty intense uh, environment and a hard game, a pretty physical game. Uh, I thought they did really well. Uh, generally, but also considering the circumstances, I thought they did very, very well.